Welcome to this ANSYS how-to series video. ANSYS Workbench is a platform enabling users to strategically organize and combine core simulation tools into a logical schematic format. The Workbench platform supports a rich library of analysis systems from statics to dynamics, from heat transfer, fluid flow, couple physics and more. While the Workbench user interface is intuitive, understanding the design philosophy, overall Windows layout, as well as how to navigate will be valuable whether you are a new user or just coming back for a quick refresher. We will introduce and explore the user interface using a simple mechanical simulation. Ready? Let's go! The Workbench user interface illustrates the relationship between the key systems in an analysis in an easy to read schematic format. The systems are arranged in a logical order to reflect the simulation workflow process. Consider a gas turbine system schematic. The key components like turbine, compressor, combustion chamber, etc must be arranged in a logical sequence to successfully produce the desired energy output. No components can be removed or rearranged in this system if the process is going to work correctly. Similarly, the primary systems in a workbench project schematic must be arranged in a logical sequence to capture the correct simulation workflow process. Let's look at a simple example. We are inside a newly opened ANSYS Workbench project page. Note that by default, an empty project schematic pane occupies most of this interface with a toolbox to its left. The project schematic is the main component of the Workbench interface and it will drive the content of most of the supporting panes that we will discuss later. The toolbox contains all types of systems you can add to your project schematic. To add a system, you can simply select one from the toolbox and drag it into the project schematic area. The toolbox is divided into categories which can be expanded and collapsed to show or hide the systems in that category. The two most common systems are analysis systems and component systems. Analysis systems include all the necessary component cells already defined and ready to be populated. For example, a static structure analysis system. It includes all the cells needed for the analysis from engineering data through results. Whereas component systems enable you to launch and use standalone editors to build a project but represent only a subset of a complete analysis. Let's start by considering a simple case of thermal structural analysis. We can solve a thermal analysis first, then use the temperature results as an input condition for the structure analysis. We will use this example to demonstrate how Workbench manages the workflow for us. First of all, let's start by building a thermal analysis. Meanwhile, we will introduce and explain various supporting pans of Workbench. We can drag a geometry system from the component systems toolbox onto the project schematic. Then proceed to drag and drop a steady state thermal system onto the geometry cell. Now the geometry information of standalone geometry module is shared with the geometry cell of the thermal system. We call this as shared data in Workbench. Workbench will manage any type of shared data such as material, geometry or analysis setup. So we don't have to duplicate or manage that ourselves. We now have the basic workflow for a thermal analysis. We can see there are multiple transparent question marks beside the systems. Such icons in Workbench can help us to identify the state of the system. Here, question mark icon means input data has not been defined for the systems. 
with such question mark status some applications may not allow to open them with the cell in the state for example if we have not yet assigned a geometry to the system all downstream cells appear as unfulfilled because they cannot progress until we assign a geometry the meaning of other icons in workbench will be explained with the progress of this model let's now begin to fill in this workbench schematic with relevant data all analysis systems and several component systems begin with a geometry definition step we can define the geometry differently depending on the type of simulation we are running in most cases we use geometry cell with the geometry cell we can open space claim and create geometry from scratch or import existing geometry in this exercise let's browse and import a simple space claim file note that how the status symbol for geometry is now a green check mark also check the same for the geometry cell in the steady state thermal system as well this is because these cells are all automatically linked together when we dragged its system onto the project schematic note that if we select properties under the view menu or right mouse click on any component and choose properties the properties panel will display this will show useful information for each component we click on including various options in the case of geometry we differentiate between 2d and 3d geometry from this property panel of the geometry branch before proceeding with the analysis now double click on the model cell of the thermal system this opens mechanical ui note that how the project tree in mechanical contains the full workflow for thermal analysis with the same connectivity as illustrated in the workbench schematic by inspection of both the workbench project schematic and mechanical project tree it is clear that boundary conditions and loads remain undefined for the thermal analysis system Once these inputs are defined in mechanical UI the workbench project schematic will update automatically to show the current status Here since our focus is on workbench we will skip the steps inside mechanical Now we can see the setup is ready for this thermal analysis The question marks are replaced by yellow lightning bolts indicating the analysis is ready to solve At this point you can remain in mechanical and solve the analysis or if you prefer you can choose to update individual cells from workbench project schematic by right mouse click and clicking on update or you can update an entire project by either clicking on the update project button located on the main menu at the top or by right mouse click anywhere in the field of the project schematic and clicking on update project either way will produce the same results the project cells will be updated in the logical sequence in which they are arranged on the schematic now assume the setup for the steady state thermal analysis is completed and solution is obtained how can we pass the obtained temperature distribution to a static structural analysis to find deformation and stress results this is where the magic happens we will drag a static structural analysis from the toolbox hover it over the steady state thermal analysis until the engineering data geometry model and the solution components are highlighted now release the left mouse click you will see four lines are created between the thermal analysis and the structural analysis click on the three blue lines the property panel tells us they are all for shared data this means the engineering data geometry and model data of the thermal analysis are shared with the structural analysis note that the model component contains material assignment mesh and other data that can be shared between different analysis now let's click on the pink line between the solution of the thermal analysis and the structural analysis the property panel shows that the linkage type is transfer data This means data is transferred from an upstream system to a downstream system. In this specific case, temperature result from the thermal analysis is transferred to the downstream structural analysis. In structural analysis, 
we can see this as import load item from the project tree containing the temperature distribution that can be added as a thermal condition in this structural analysis. After defining loads and boundary conditions in mechanical, the structural system is now ready to solve. Workbench also provides many other features for reviewing and organizing the systems. From the menu bar at the top of the Workbench UI, if we navigate to the view menu, we can open these additional panels as needed. For example, if we check the files under view menu, the files pane will show up and list all files created and saved for the project. It enables us to see the name and type of file, the IDs of the cells the file is associated with, the size of the file, the location of the file and other information. Notice how many files are associated with these two analyses which include geometry, mesh and solver output. If we had additional systems defined, there could be added complexity in our workflow. But fortunately, Workbench manages and organizes all the relevant files for us. If we check message under the view menu, the message pane will be added to the window. It enables to view notes, warnings and error ensued during the process of defining data, refreshing and updating various cells in the schematic. Also, it is possible to customize the toolbox by clicking on the toolbox customization from the view menu. This enables us to select only those analysis and component systems most relevant to the common workflow and hide all others. So let's summarize. Using the analogy of a gas turbine system earlier, our analysis workflow may involve a sequence of analysis that must be followed in sequential order. Workbench allows us to easily define this workflow and manages the data to allow us to analyze complex systems accurately and successfully. The project schematic is the main component of the Workbench interface and drives the content of most of the supporting pens in the UI. Each system can be thought of as a container of data. Sales status icons allow us to verify which pieces are incomplete or up to date. And links between the systems allow us to see the flow of information between analysis. As you start to become more comfortable using the Workbench user interface, keep in mind if at any time you get stuck or need help with any of the available features in Workbench project page, you can always go to main menu, view, show sidebar help for a short list of links specific to the active systems in the project schematic. You can press F1 for context specific help. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. For more information about Workbench or other topics, check out our channel and visit courses.ansys.com